it's so amazing and there's grey outside the side of the road, oh my god, but I just can't risk it. So I've driven about, and it's probably about 10 miles north, the road is absolutely fine. This morning was one of the most challenging mornings of bird photography I've had in a long time. All along my journey there were pockets of mist and fog. I really had no idea what conditions to expect when I arrived. But what I didn't expect was the snow. There was so much snow on the tops and whilst it is really, really beautiful, it made it very, very difficult on the roads. The place I really wanted to get to, I just couldn't get there. The roads just became too bad. Despite my best efforts, I had to turn back. Okay, I'm not getting up here. Uh, I think I'm taking a bit of a risk, to be honest. I'm taking a bit of a risk uh, getting this far up. I ain't getting any further. And um, it's just amazing. Like, it's so amazing. And there's grey outside the side of the road. Oh my God, but I just can't risk it. So I've driven about and it's probably about 10 miles north uh, to the other location for the grouse. Snow is lying everywhere on this landscape, but the road is absolutely fine. So I cannot believe um, how lucky I'm being. I've got a grouse just by the side of the road right here right now in the snow unbelievable conditions just the landscape is just covered in the snow he's kind of raised a little bit which is really helpful I've actually positioned my car I need to be careful I need to use my ears for um, oncoming traffic yeah I was I was kind of trying to get closer reversing back and then if I did that, I realized he was against the skyline. So what I did was actually stop. I didn't go quite as far back, which means I've been able to get that backdrop, which is the um, like the distant hillside with the snow on it, which is, you know, to me, a much better backdrop. He's just doing a little bit of calling. Um, unfortunately, he's pretty much faced away, I think. He just had his back to me when he started calling, but I took a shot. You can, you can probably hear some grouse calling. I've got a crazy grouse. It's very close. It's it's too close. It's... Oh, yeah. The main problem I'm having here is with the focus. I've started out with a large zone horizontal and I've also tried the eye focus as well. So that's kind of a automatic tracking where the camera is gonna lock on to either the bird or the head. 
but it's just proven to be inconsistent in this situation. Now, there's different reasons for that, and it depends what the grouse is doing, how clear the, the eye and the head is, all those things. But it's just proven so inconsistent that I don't trust it. So I've actually switched to a single spot focus, and I know with that at least that I can place the focus exactly where I want, and the camera should focus there. So don't be afraid to change things if you need to. Oh my God, the madness. <laughs> Man, so for... Te technical things and settings is, is not the hard part of wildlife photography. I, I just honestly don't think it is. It's the physicality, it's the discomfort, it's the blocking the road, it's the snow. Come back, come back, come back. What a stunner, absolute stunner. I am feeling a little bit annoyed with myself. Ideally, I think you wanna to aim to get the shadows and the highlights within the histogram if you can. So I think here I could have actually underexposed a little more. I think it's actually because of my tendency to underexpose, or if anything, I try to overexpose and avoid too much noise in the shadows. But I would have preferred less blown out snow in these images. But really it's about how it looks to you and if you're happy with the image. So let me know if you think if it's ever okay to blow out the snow. But anyway, I'm going to go. I'm going to go now because I, I don't think he should stay oh, too long. He's obviously quite a territorial grouse and he's actually chasing the cars a little bit. And I've been here a while, so I'm going to head off. I found a pair of grouse, a really nice male and female, that were feeding on the heather. And this female particularly, I just thought was absolutely stunning. The, the colours, the feather detail, and she really looked like she just sparkled in that snow. And I got some lovely pictures of her actually feeding, just picking away at the tips of the heather with her bill. And the grouse actually feed almost entirely on ling heather. Oh, I could do with some coffee. I don't even drink coffee. So I guess the message of this video really is that perseverance is just key in wildlife photography. And sure enough, I was greeted by the best conditions and one of the best photo shoots I've had in a long time. So sometimes you just have to stick it out, try and overcome any problems you can and just be determined. And with a little bit of luck thrown in there as well, you might just get some of your best pictures. If you enjoyed this video, then check out this video on the screen, which is me photographing grouse again from the car. And there's a few tips in there on how to photograph from a car and a few technical tips in there as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh my goodness. Oh, got to back up a bit. Oh, this is a nightmare, an absolute nightmare.